Good morning, you beautiful nerds. Uh, welcome back to your daily delves for NA servers. Uh, today is September 29th already. Uh, and we're going to go over all of the delves that are available today, as well as uh, the bountifuls and maybe some little tips and tricks uh, that I found along the way on this journey here. So we're going to start with the Isle of Dorn zone as Zorn, as always. Uh, we have Kriegval's Rest which is today is going to be Dagrin's Day Out, which is a really cute one that you get to do with Bran and Dagrin. Don't forget, they are related, so uh, it's kind of fun to see them interact with each other. I just like that one, so I recommend doing it. It's good. Uh, Fungal Folly today is actually Explorer's Competition, which I have only seen maybe one other time. Uh, so this is kind of a rare one. Highly recommend getting that done. Uh, Fungal Folly Explorer's Competition. It's really cool. There's also a fishing you have to fish, and there's a trainer in the delve that will teach you to fish uh which is which is which is neat uh for today's bountiful in the isle of dorn you have the earth crawl mines and it is fiery grounds uh you have to grab the torch and just burn the webs uh the torch also does a bunch of damage to the ads uh that you'll find throughout so that's pretty easy peasy we also have the ringing deeps uh, which is Waterworks. The story is stomping some sense. Uh, that one's actually really easy. You can skip a lot of mobs. You can fill up on the gears that you need by using the stomp on dead cobalt bodies uh, way before you ever actually even get to the end of the delve. So you can skip a whole lot of mobs in that one. Uh, and Dread Pit is the bountiful today, and it is not the easiest of them, but it is the cobalt kidnapping one. Uh, a little trick for that, is when you're looking for the kobolds, when you need to free them from the webs, uh, it actually, the game will tell you which ones are the ones that you need. And it's any of the webs that look like they're on fire. Those are those are the ones you want. The other ones, don't open those. It's just going to unleash a, another mob that you have to deal with. So you can just freely ignore those uh, and just go for the fire cocoons. That's it. That's all you need. Uh, for Hallowfall today, we have Mycomancer Cavern, which is actually a pretty cool one. It's Mushroom Morsel, which is uh, another story one that I haven't seen that often. So I recommend doing that. Mycomancer, just like Fungal Folly, super easy if you use the spores to do damage to everything else and don't get caught yourself. Uh, Skittering Breach is the Bountiful, and in my opinion, this is the hardest delve in the entire game. This scenario is the hardest, is one of the hardest. Um... You have this portal that you have to go through and you get an extra action button to use where you like clear the darkness. Uh, I think this one's really tough. I, yeah, I think it's really tough. If you haven't done this one on in tier eight yet, um, good luck, play it safe, pull small, uh, CC as much as you can. Skittering Breach is just tough. It's probably the hardest delve in general. Uh, then we have the sinkhole, which again is one of those underwater ones. Uh, this one is lurking terror, super easy. I think the last boss is incredibly easy for this one. So if you're having trouble staying alive versus uh, these tough bosses like Waxface and whatnot from Waterworks, the sinkhole is a pretty good, uh, a pretty good alternative. And then we have Nightfall Sanctum. The story for that one is Signal Noise, which I believe is also a rarer one. I haven't seen that one that often. Honestly, I feel like Lightfall Sanctum is never bountiful, so. Uh, it's just very rare that I actually do that one. Spiral Weave today in Ajkahet is Strange Disturbances. It's the Puppet Master stuff. We've seen it all the time. It's probably the most popular delve uh, scenario in Spiral Weave. Uh, Takrathon Abyss is going to be the Pheromone Fury. You need to destroy the boxes. This one, you can be pretty picky and choosy about which boxes you actually destroy. Try to go for the packs that uh, maybe don't have a trickster in them. Uh, that one's not bad either. Just bring something that you can breathe underwater, and then you don't have to worry about the bubble mechanic. And finally, we have the Underkeep, which is Runaway Evolution. Something that you can do in this one is kind of cool. The uh, big abominations are running around. In the second half of the delve, you have to use the pheromones to kind of stop them from rampaging, and then you can destroy them. Uh, but when they're running, if you bring mobs into their path, those those runaway abominations will actually do an incredible amount of damage to those mobs. So you can group up a big pack, put them right in front of the abomination, and the abomination will just come through and kill them all. So really easy. Uh, there's a couple delves that are real stinky. Skittering Breach being the bountiful today with that scenario is kind of is kind of rough. Uh, but best of luck. You got this. Keep on delving. And uh, see you in the next one. Never give up, never surrender. Bye, friends.